All right, so per request, I made up a little board um, that would let us test out this uh, BNO 055 9 degree of freedom um, position sensor without having to write any code to interface to it. Um, so the board, what it's got on it, it's got the BNO 055 sensor. There's a Arduino, the Pro Mini. That's using the Adafruit libraries to um, interface to the sensor. Uh, so that's these two wires here. It gets power. Um, I've got it set up to all run off of 5 volt supply so we can run it off of the uh, um, RoboRio directly. Um, the Arduino talks to this ESP8266 chip. It's a Wi-Fi module with a um, built-in microprocessor. Um, the Arduino and the ESP8266 talk over uh, RS-232 link at uh, uh, 1152 baud, so 115200 would be the baud rate that uh, we'll need to remember later. Um, so, and this is a 3.3 volt voltage regulator for the ESP-8266 to run off of. Um, I was able to get the uh, Adafruit library is running directly on the ESP8266 because um, you can uh, the Arduino libraries are supported on this target but uh, for some reason when it was communicating to the chip directly I would get like it would randomly within a minute just stop reading data so I'm not sure maybe the I2C libraries for this guy um, are uh, maybe there's timing problems or something. I don't know. But yeah, I couldn't get that to work reliably. So uh, more hardware on this than you'd need. But um, yeah, it works and lets us test quickly. So yeah, you just need to plug 5 volts into this. Um, to get data off of it, there's. A uh, web page that is hosted by the ESP8266 chip. Um, so it will automatically um, attempt to connect to a wireless access point. Um, and if it can't, it sets up an access point that you can connect to so you can configure it. Uh, so I'm going to give this thing power so you can see. Yeah. How to, how to get the data off of it. All right, so plug it in. I've already got it set up to connect to my home network, but um, so once it boots, it comes up. And doesn't load. Let's try this again. All right, it looks like it's going now. Not the web page, but of course, while I'm recording a video, there we go. Okay, I guess just took a minute to find my access point. Uh, just a comment on range for Wi-Fi on this thing. My Access points in the basement, like two rooms away, so shouldn't have any problem with it running on the robot connecting to whatever. If whether the bridge is on the robot locally or if it's the one on the cart, but um, this LED here is flashing because it's receiving serial data from the Arduino. Uh, that's what that status means. So we go to the web page. Uh, there's a bunch of diagnostics stuff on here. Shouldn't need to change anything except for you go to this Wi-Fi page. This lets you um, select what access point it's connected to. I'm gonna need to set this up once it gets uh, on the robot network. 
Um, then from once you know the IP address on the new network, you can uh, go to it in a, the website and see the uh, there's a console printout. So this is all the data that's being received. Uh, again, the baud right needs to be set to 11.52 right there. So this is the live data coming in over serial. Using this website like this is kind of not convenient. I don't know why this text box isn't set up to scroll automatically. It's, but whatever. Um, we can connect to it over. Um, can connect to it over. Oh, I'm just bring up Putty over a Telnet connection. So in Putty, we just go in. So you're going to connect over Telnet, type in the IP address, port number 23 is automatically selected. You probably want to increase your buffer size here to, I don't know, more lines if we want to like grab the data after connecting to it later. So connect to the ESP and you get all the data and it's streaming live. So. I'm going to rotate the sensor here, you see position changing. Um, and I'll just do another like accuracy slash, slash reliability test. Uh, so I'm going to restart uh, with it lined up to my laptop here. So I'm just going to be rotating it 90 degrees like that. Um, just to show how repeatable and accurate it is. Uh, just something to note ahead of time, the, the boards kind of protrude on either end here, so there's going to be some like slight variation in position. Um, let's see, on 90 and 270 degrees, this should be off probably slightly because it's hard to line it up against the laptop. All right. So I'll restart this. This will be the zero position. Okay, it comes up, calibrates. Okay, so I'm going to go, it's 90. It's 180, 270, back to 360, 270. 180, 90, 0, 270, 180, 90, 0, let's go back the other way, 90, 180, 270, 60. Yeah, so I mean, seems to be pretty darn close. Uh, again, this is kind of like a J rig setup here, but I would say it's definitely uh, accurate enough for our needs. And uh, once again, you see when it's sitting still, it's a deadlock. Like, you don't get any noise on position. So, that's it.